Hey everyone, I hope you've been a really great day. Have you had a great Memorial Day weekend last weekend? I'm here with my May favorites. This month has flown by, it's been super busy. Um, so I apologize that I haven't been posting as much as I normally do. Um, but until I get a set schedule down, I'm going to be posting probably about once a week. Um, just to give you guys a heads up. But yeah, um, with that said, I'm just going to go ahead and get started. I don't have a ton of stuff this month, so hopefully this won't be too long. Um, but all the stuff I do have, um, I really been enjoying so yeah I'm gonna start with the perfume that I've really been loving this month it is green tea by Elizabeth Arden and I got this for Christmas from my little brother and it came in like a little set with like four or five other Elizabeth Arden fragrances and this one I've really been gravitating towards this month it's very nice. It's um, It definitely smells a lot like green tea, which is really cool because it's kind of a refreshing um, sort of light scent, but it's still um, kind of prominent. Although, even though it is prominent, it's not too strong. Um, it also has a bit of like a floral um, kind of note in it. I'm not sure what kind of floral notes, but it's really subtle um, for the most part. Like I said, it smells like green tea, which is really, really nice and refreshing, kind of a nice light scent. Um, good for transitioning into the summertime. So I've really been liking this and wearing it almost every single day lately. And the next thing I have, this is something I've been looking for the past few months, um, and it is the Sigma Spa Brush Cleaning Glove. Love, love, love this. I actually have a review on this, um, so I will link that down in the info bar for you guys if you haven't seen it yet. Um, but it's just a really, really great product. I'm not going to go into too much detail because um, I did talk about it in the review, but I love it. It makes my brushes so much easier and faster to clean. I can't even tell you guys. Um, I can literally wash all my brushes in like 10 minutes. It's amazing. Um, it does a really good job of deep cleaning. Um, super easy to use. It's just amazing. I love this. And before I used to dread cleaning my brushes and now I actually look forward to it. It's kind of fun for me. So um, I think that's a pretty huge statement. So pretty self-explanatory and I think it's definitely worth checking out if you guys are interested. The next thing I have is a lipstick and it's by CoverGirl and this is in the color Darling Cherry and it's a really really pretty, it's actually the only CoverGirl lipstick I have. Um, I love the packaging first of all but it's just this is a really pretty kind of lavender pink color. Like it's definitely pink but it has a bit of a purple undertone to it. Um, it's really, really pretty. It's really great for the springtime and even for summer if you just want to um, have a little bit of a pop of color, but you don't want to go too bold with your lips. So yeah, really, really like this. Um, it doesn't really have a smell either, um, but like I said, I love the packaging. Um, and it's kind of a unique color. And it kind of reminds me of the MAC cream sheets in terms of formula. Um, it's not quite as moisturizing, but it is nice and creamy. Um, it applies easily. It's nicely pigmented as well. The next item I have is actually something I mentioned in my last haul. Um, this is something that I just picked up on a whim because I was running out the door and I forgot my chapstick. Um, this is just the regular classic chapstick. Um, it's no like, special flavor or anything, just the classic kind um and i forgot how much this how well this works like i really like it again um i'm kind of rediscovering it but this has been like my go-to lip balm for the past week or so so we've been loving it and it has spf 4 which is always a plus especially in the hotter months that we're getting into so i had to mention that also i have really been liking the urban decay the select oil control makeup setting spray I got this um, as a sample from Sephora and because I've been really been curious about it for a while and I really like this. First of all, it's really refreshing when you spray it, which is awesome. Um, I spray it before I put on my makeup and after I put on my makeup. I found that that really helps to set things um, and it really does help keep the oil down in my face throughout the day so I don't have to touch up as much with powder. Um, it smells really good actually. It smells really, I don't know how to describe it, it's a really nice smell though. It's kind of sweet, um, but it's not really strong. 
Um, it's really nice scent, really nicely scented. Um, and I think that's about it. Um, yeah, it works well. It's also paraben free, which is also a good thing. So we've really been liking that. Um, my nail polish that I have been loving, especially to wear on my toes, like this entire month, I kept repeating it with this color. It's Essie's Beach Bum Blue. And it's just a really pretty, it's like a denim blue, but it's metallic. Um, it kind of reminds me of like the ocean water. It's really, really pretty. Um, it's really unique. Um, I feel like this is a good transition color if you like from spring to summer because it's metallic, which is very like in for summer as it always is, but it's not really bright. Um, so it kind of works for both the spring and summertime. So yeah, I've really been liking that lately. And excuse me, my last favorite is the CoverGirl Clump Crusher Mascara. Um, I'm very, very pleased to say that I do like this. Um, I'm actually wearing it today. And I like this because it's really low maintenance. It's really easy to use. You can just kind of throw it on and go. Um, it gives you a little bit of volume. It really doesn't clump your lashes at all, which is awesome. Um, that helps makes it helps make it like an easy go-to mascara. So <clears throat> definitely been liking this as of late. Um, and I think that is about it. So I am gonna go ahead and go. Let me know in the comments what your favorites have been this month, so I can check out some new stuff. Um, Cause I didn't get a chance to try a whole lot of stuff yet this month. So yeah. Um, very very excited about trying out some new stuff especially for summertime um there's a lot of really great new collections coming out so um definitely going to be eyeing those um but anyways i feel like i'm rambling now so I'm, like i said i'm gonna go all the usual links will be found in the nfa bar let me know what products you've been loving also let me know if you have a favorites video leave it as a video response so i can check it out and i will talk to you guys later bye